Hey everyone, with the scenario discussion analysis done, we are moving on to part 2 with the scenario replay analysis. I am running the tier 6 premium Pan-Asian Destroyer Anshan. It is basically a Nevi with some slight differences, being the de minimum detection is 6.3. And it has 8 kilometer torps, and it did not, did not receive the, did not receive the turret buff. That the tech tree ships received. As you see here, I am heading out into the north sector to spot the first wave of ships for my teammates and you will see it is consists of a Kuma, Yubari, Tenryu, and Chikuma Here I'm actually sending torpedoes at the Yubari and the Tenryu. Now if you haven't figured it out, the pattern for this game is north, center, south because you have to remember the rules the next wave is always in a neighboring sector and it always keeps going the same direction Here I am going out to do some spotting again and for some offensive purposes. You have seen me done this before if you watch some of my previous Newport replays, although in those replays I have the assistance of an aircraft carrier to spot for me. Now the second wave is consists of a Isokaze, T-22, Shizuchi, Kaiser, and the Furutaka which was once an aircraft carrier. And just like the, I said earlier about following the rules, it's going from north to center.
Now you'll see here, third wave has spawned in the south sector, just like I said. It is following the same pattern I was talking about. Now, the kill rate is a little slower than I typically like when running a full division, but it's actually not that bad. Now, how quickly we kill the third wave here basically influences whether we get a success or fail condition. Mind what a success and fail condition is, you have the breach of the perimeter or or failing to sink all the enemy ships before the main attack. Either one will cause a fail condition. Third wave here has Hatsuharu, Buki, Alba, Nuremberg, Gaida, and Furutaka. And typically that Furutaka that was just pointed out can be problematic as if no one char targets it. It can just slip in. Now here we just scraped by with a success, although it was really close. Now you'll see the Baltimore followed the pattern I mentioned. It spawned in a border sector and in a sector that a previous wave has spawned in.
here you can see I am shooting at the Alba and the Nuremberg to try and distract it. Now once the Baltimore is pretty much secure now, you need to be concerned about the main attack, and as discussed earlier, there is no longer a perimeter, and anyone who is low health should be looking at going and repairing at a support ship. Now one thing to note about the task for the buildings and the support ship, none of the forts, either the outside or the inside forts count toward that task. You can lose all the forts and still not lose that star. Now remember, you need to keep the Konig and the Bayern in the south and north sector distracted, otherwise they'll, they'll start shooting at the buildings and make you lose a star as well.
And that's pretty much the scenario. Obviously the point of this was to show you what a 5 star looks like. If you want to see what a version that doesn't go so well, I can provide that as well on request. And if you have any questions or have any comments about this, just let me know. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and have a good day.